Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Friday Night, it's take it away. Friday Night Flies. I'm back in the vice. Celebrating the May Long. The May, May 2 4. The May 2 4. May Long weekend. Here we go. So, we got Scott and me and Zach tying for you tonight. So it's going to be a good show. Lots of patterns for you to tie up this weekend for your recipes. Got some early season. I think Scott's doing a special streamer pattern. Zach, I think, is tying a chronomid for your early season still water. I got a pattern for your smaller creeks, or big creeks as well, big rivers. So let's get started. Do you want to just go straight down there? Let's go straight down there. Okay, so I've got a little, one of my buggy version of a caddis pupa. Give that thing a slow roll, Ethan. So that's not slow, that's like high speed. Just, we want to see what the profile is, man. Uh, sexy. Double up. Uh, uh. That's right. Okay, so that's my little caddis pupa. It's got a little bit of everything in it. You could also fish at still water. It would work very well as... Um, a drop fly underneath an indicator and just figure eight it. You gotta be careful with your feet bang. Oh. And let's get started. So I got a size six Mustad C49S Caddis Curve hook. And I'm gonna start off with some orange thread or which what is it called? It's called fire orange. Superfly thread, six aught. I'm just gonna start near the back. Just gonna wind it down, and this is just a little hot spot, just to get everything going. Nice even wraps, cover up that. And now I'm just gonna whip finish her off. Now again, that's just a little bit of a hot spot. You can put it on there, or you don't have to. It's up to you. Just gonna trim that. And now I like to keep my flies nice and sturdy. I hate flies that fall apart, especially ones that you buy. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of Solar Res Ultra Thin. Just gonna let that thin out. <coughs> And where's my bodkin? I'm just going to hit that with the light. You can see it smoke right there. That's how good this stuff is. There we go. Now I've got some chartreuse 6 aught green superfly thread. And I'm just going to put that all the way up to where our hot spot was. And now what I've got is I've got some opal tinsel medium and we're just gonna tie oh wait no no we're not I got some crystal flash pearl now as you can see I got all these tag ends not a lot of people use those well this is what the whole point of this fly was was to figure out what I could use those tag ends for because I hate wasting I'm just going to tie these in into the back and we'll trim them up in a sec. Lock her down right to where that hot spot was. And let's trim them up. You don't need a long tail, just enough to get the fish's attention. Now we're going to put in our opal tinsel. UTC from Chinook Wind Outfitters. And we're just going to put that into there. Put that into our material clip. 
Now what I got right here is I got some olive uh, scud back or scud wrap. I've just made, I've just cut an angle into it so that it's easier to get on there. Tie that on. Now we'll just make the contours of the body. Build that thread up a little bit. There's a leg. <laughs> What's going on there? There we go. Then a little whip finisher so that we can use the awesome feature of this rotary vise. This Montana Griffin Mongoose vise. Griffin. Griffin. And we'll just pull this out of the way. Put that into our material clip. And we'll start wrapping. And I'm just going to, I'll double back on this. Don't want to clip that. I've had it break on me before. And now it's not, it's not super big for you to get every square little inch or millimeter. Of that, you're making Scotty's uh, OCD. I know it's killing him right now, bro. I'm just gonna wrap up. There's a hole in the wrap. <laughs> There's a hole. Fix it. Well, that's just to give it this cool <laughs> little effect. So when I wrap it now with this, don't notice it a whole lot. It's a dimension, dimension and depth. You can do that same with the uh, the solarized. Yep. There we go. Just gonna lock her down. Yeah, but you get the addition of that extra little bit of color. Yeah. That it's added. That was scud back, right? Yeah. yeah. All of. Light off. Looks and like now, it was acid dipped. where did my thin skin go? Probably left it on the dock for one mile when you're trying to hold the girl's uh, mm -hmm. hand. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to trim off another piece of, piece of thin skin. Is it Trojan or? Uh... Uh, it's. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> They're making fun of me in the background here, guys. What pattern is that thin skin there? It's molted. Molted. Did you show that off? Oh my god. No. All right. That stuff. So now I'm just going to wrap my thin skin up. And now we're going to put in a little bit of a dubbing loop. It looks a little bit like, uh, like turkey, eh? Is that what mm -hmm. it's supposed to represent? I think so. And use my dubbin spinner. No, we don't need a white fish. Okay, so I got my diamond dub right here. And I've got my peacock curl color, sorta. I got olive. I don't need a whole lot actually. I got like a lighter olive. Or a little custom blend. Custom blend. Just gonna mix it up a little bit. Throw her into the dubbing spin, wrap, loop, loop. You brought up that girl's name again, buddy, and now it's mess again. I know. That's all you have to do. <laughs> Bring up that. Okay, girl. so now we're gonna spin it up. <laughs> you didn't even mix up that, uh, that dubbing, just. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. It's just that little bit at oh, the end. At the end there. And now I'm just gonna wrap yeah. it. You brought up that oh. young lady's. Okay. You gonna give her a shout out? What's her name? No. no. And now I'm just gonna. She's probably watching. Wrap it up. You know what? That's a good point, Scott. I should say hi. And I'm just gonna whip this off, lock her down. Like a good handhold. Oh lock my it down. gosh. Lock it down. Lock it down. And we're gonna bug this, bugify this thing out. So I got my just my 
Oh, Scott, you really are <laughs> really bugging me right you now. Out, eh? <laughs> Velcro. You're all Velcro. there, right? So we're going to Velcro this a little bit. Yeah. Get the legs going. Yeah. Oh. And then I'm guessing once we get her peeled down to either side of the bead. We're now, gonna we're, now we're going to pull this over. And we're just going to pinch this with our finger. There you go. Not bad, though. And we're just going to put two wraps in front. We're going to put some wraps behind. And before we cut that off, we're going to whip finish it. Because, as you can see, that hides your thread and hides it behind the bead. And then your fish won't go and grab it and wreck your fly. Pull this. Pull it tight. That wasn't very tight. Trim off that little bit. Is that bit. stuff somewhat stretchy? A little bit. Yeah. And now i got my Solarize thing here. I'm just going to grab this dubbing, pull it down. Gotta be a little bit careful because it comes out fast. Doesn't see on the big bottle. Four ounces, baby. Nice. There we go. Hit with the light. Cured. Cured. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom shakalaka. Kids on fire tonight. There you go. That's a simple. Buggy, Let's give it a slow roll. Attractor, what attracting. Do what do we call it? Caddis pupa. Cox's caddis pupa. It's up to you. You can call it whatever you want. I don't really care. Uh, but oh, we're up top now. <coughs> Thanks for telling me. No, I was just let you look down a little bit. Yeah. Admiring your own. Admiring time. my own work. That's right. Of art. So, is there, is there anybody out there that you'd like no, to No, there is no not. One? I'm all good with that. Not, not I'm one not specific, one person. Not one specific, not one specific person. Young, now, Brad's yeah. going to be quiet for a very long time now. So, that was my fly for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Ethan. Scott's got a pattern. Zach's got a pattern. Pattern for the weekend. Quick there you go. Sponsors. And a quick shout out from the sponsors. Friday Night Flies would like to thank the following sponsors. Superfly, Solarez, Chinook Wind Outfitters, Dr. Slick, Griffin, Stonefoe.